Hi, I'm Jake Niederager. Uh, this is my YouTube project for EDU 104. Um, I chose to read the Freedom Writers Diaries, um, story told by Aaron Gruwell um, from her experience um, from teaching. Um, I can relate to this book a lot because I've had a lot of experience with kids who are less fortunate and while reading and going through it um, I learned that I had, could relate to her in many ways. Um, she tells a story um, through the journal entries of her students. Um, as I said, I can relate to her. She's only 23 years old. Um, I'm about to be 21. And uh, I also can relate to um, working with kids that are less fortunate. Um, I have so through um, uh, Kicks for Kids camp where the kids that are um, not able to pay for basketball camp come to this camp. So. Um, I can see where she had trouble teaching them at first, but once you get to connect with them, you can find out little niches and tricks on how they learn best. Um, now onto the book. Um, it's about Aaron Goodwill's experience um, of teaching at Wilson High in Long Beach, California. She takes on the job and it's she's teaching a lot of at-risk um, um, unteachable kids that have kind of been given up on by other teachers um, and this is really unfamiliar to her at first uh, she didn't grow up like in this light and she wasn't raised in such a element um, at first the kids um, don't want to learn from her they think they don't understand her or understand them because she's some rich white girl and she, um, she's kind of out of her element. Um, one time, one day in class where she's kind of at her wit's end, she intercepts a note that's really hateful and racist between a couple of her students. And she kind of, instead of disciplining the kids, she makes it um, kind of a teaching point. Uh, she says that similar things led to the Holocaust in history and um, being racist and hurtful, uh, similar things that Hitler did that led to a mass murder of many people. Um, from this, she made them write in a journal and discuss their feelings and stuff similar to how Anne Frank did. And this led to a, a big movement by the class um, that they kept writing in their journals and stuff. And it kind of gained interest in the class to start learning. It was kind of a turning point uh, in her teaching career and for the class in general. Um, they started to spark interest <laughs> in learning through this and the kids really just rocketed towards achievement since then. Uh, they, they gained a drive to learn and so on. Um, the kids after this um, occurrence went on to uh, sponsor a readathon for tolerance that raised money to bring Met Geis, uh, the woman who took in Anne Frank, um, money for them, that family and they later would win uh, the Spirit of Anne Frank Award in 1998, the whole class did and they later went, on, went over to visit Anne Frank in many concentration camps It really made it surreal for that class and all um, 150 of the, the Freedom Riders of the class went on to um, attend college and they uh, as you have to attend college, they also graduated high school so this teacher made it a very impactful um, on these kids and propelled them towards success and it was very inspirational for me and a style that I really like to teach in. Um, I'm kind of debating on teaching inner city so it was very inspirational for me. Thanks.